my channel so today I'm starting my spring personal project which is to incorporate fashion and tech this was all inspired after the damn chic launch party in the fall so most of you probably don't know what damn chic is but it's basically a fashion club at my school that hosts fashion shows for designers and creators they put on awesome events and they have really cool magazines and after going to the party, I was like, wow, I really want to do this. I want to show people how you can do fashion and tech. And hopefully I can put together a few pieces and be featured in one of the shows and magazines before my time is up here at Oregon State. So my first project that I'm going to start is taking a generic leather jacket. This is not real leather. And putting a phrase on the back with programmable LED lights and yeah, I'm super excited. So to do all of this, I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Amazon and I'm going to walk through everything that I ordered and how I plan on using it. Okay everyone, I just got my Arduino Nano working for some new lights that I ordered for my personal project and I'm so excited that I thought I would film it just in case all goes well and I can actually post a video about it. What we are working with. So here you can see I bought these lights off of Amazon. These are the US2812B LED strips. These are not waterproof so what that means is you see how you can actually see the um, the LED lights? How they don't have like any casing around them. I made the mistake of buying these guys. These are the WS2811 LED strips and these are 12 volts. What these look like is they have this like jelly casing around them. So you can kind of see that they're actually like enclosed. And these are 12 volts. This is just like a mess. So I can get those to light up, but only the red color will light up because if you're working with LED strips and Arduinos, um, if you don't have enough power to get to the LED strip, it will only power one light. And I think if you have more power, then you can get more colors going. But yeah. So originally I soldered in the header pins and I am not ECE, I don't know how to solder and it was a huge mistake. Like it was probably the worst soldering I've ever seen. Oh no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> um, so I was able to luckily clip off all of the solder and it didn't affect it. So in, you can see we actually have some colors. This is so crazy to me. Oh my gosh. And like, I was actually able to get it on the Nano. So if I do implement these lights, um, the Nano will be hidden very discreetly. The battery pack is probably the biggest part, but I don't think that would be an issue at all either. So right now, the lights are going off of the Blink LED provided example that Arduino has. So it's like already built in code. I didn't figure this out, but I am planning on writing my own code to get my own personalized um, pattern and stuff. But yeah, this is just so exciting that I can actually power and get all the colors working because the 12 volt ones, like I was talking to you about, it wouldn't even like do this. It wasn't even this powerful. It was barely lighting up red. Okay, it's been concluded. I can solder and no, it is not great, but I can do it. Now that I got that part working, I think I want to actually try and do my name instead of just doing one big strip. This is gonna be hard and I'm gonna be soldering all night and I might run out of solder, 
but it'll be okay. It'll be worth it. Okay, so I decided not to like show you how I'm soldering because I'm definitely not the person to take soldering advice from. I will link a tutorial for that down below, but you can like see my setup. I have literally like chicken noodle soup holding up cardboard. Um, it's just a mess, but somehow I was able to solder it all together. So yeah, 